So I just wanted to go through the uh, some of the parts that I've used um, that did not come from uh, from Hobby King and some of the tools I've used. Um, and I got them uh, laid out on the table here. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, just a shrink wrap, uh, very useful. Um, different sizes, I, I, it's just, I have them in the different compartments here. Uh, different sizes and different colors as well. It's good for color coding, uh, you know, so keep, keep it simple so you don't mix up the wires and stuff. Um, you need to, uh, different, you will need different sizes and thicknesses. Uh, if you want to make it look nice and tidy and uh, you don't want any short circuits, any wires uh, touching uh, together. Uh, one of the other things uh, I used uh, is the uh, is this uh, this wire protective material um, just in case of a crash. I was also thinking, you know, just in case the propellers kind of just hit the wires, I just want them chopped up. Uh, and also just makes everything look really nice and, uh, and tidy. Um, you know, it just comes in a Basically, just it, it is really long, so there's there's a lot of it here. Um, well, and you can basically, as you can see, it'll go through quite, uh, to quite a uh, of a thickness, so you can cover uh, you know a lot of different things, uh, thicknesses of wires and stuff. And as you can see, on what I've done is I have the wiring covered, um, and the propellers actually do run quite close to some of the wiring. Um, so that's uh, one of the things that will uh, will keep them protected if in, ga in case they get uh, you know hit or anything like that. Or it just basically makes it harder to get hooked onto things as well, uh, and it looks nicer too. I guess if you can, you know, you should spend more time just uh, uh, you know if you want to spend more time to uh, tidy it up and just kind of organize it nicely and you know around and stuff. Uh, one of the other things that I used uh, just for the battery, uh, just these simple uh, simple ties, just basically, um, you know, they wrap around, and, and that's what I used for uh, for the battery. Um, as you can see, here. it's just a simple wraps around into the uh, just the, around the bottom there. Um, The other things I've used uh, the boxes um, is basically these uh, these boxes that I've used. Um, uh, they basically have a couple of holes. They have the two holes, come with screws, and you can just close them together. And it actually helps. It's it's a good protective uh, box. It is a little bit uh, thicker and heavier. Um, it adds to the weight, but it is worth it because it does protect your electronics. And like I said, one of the first flights I actually crashed, I just had it. Uh, I had some of my electronics just basically on the on the uh, quadcopter with, you know, this type of a sticky tape, which doesn't even actually hold too long. The bottom of it is not even sticky anymore. It's I guess uh, poor quality. Um, and as I mentioned before, it, when you do stick it on. Uh, because of the wiring, it does shift if if it's not a strong uh, strong bond. Um, and there's another box that I considered using for the APM, uh, but then I just ended up using a uh, a bigger a bigger sturdier box, and that's the one. Right here. Uh, some of the other things, ties, different sizes, the smaller ones, you can go even smaller. This is actually even uh, overkill because they are extremely strong. So, uh, what is this here? It's about 10 and a half inches. That's uh, 25 centimeters or so. Uh, that's the heavy duty one uh, right here. Which I got actually just one I'm using to hold up the antenna. I just kind of you know, hook it around like that, and use that as uh, as the antenna. As you can see right now, that it's not very really straight on, but that's it right there. Some of the other things that I have used, um, 
are via the plastic um, holders and screws and things like that. They come in various sizes. Um, I do recommend them for certain areas just in case you crash there will be um, you know first to break and they come in different sizes, shapes, thicknesses, threads and these are all acrylic. They are actually very tough in case you're wondering uh, I couldn't break I could not break them in half if I even tried. Maybe it's the little screw tip on there that's that's got uh, threaded the uh, you can snap that off but it's still that's just a little uh, yeah and then just some of the bigger acrylic screws. And uh, both I have actually used um, to hold down the box, as you can see them, just in there. And there are four, so there are just the two and two, and then also two in the front. The other things I have used were the uh, just the three and a half connectors, three and a half mil. Um, I, I've actually used the females only, such as that one there, not the males. Um, and the electronic uh, control, the ESCs plug into them just to make it easy. That's the adapter that I soldered um, together. And that's where I have used, uh, you know, just one of these little things I have with the magnifying glass just to kind of hold uh, with the little clips. Although you're soldering, it's very handy. And soldering gun, I think this is actually, it's not a very big one, I think it's like a 25 watt, but it's still perfect. It's good enough for small electronics and stuff. Uh, keys, hex, just to put the quadcopter together, just some screwdrivers. Um, it's just solder that I used. And, uh, that's that's about it. The only other thing, the most important thing that I wanted to show are the ferrite. These have done quite a quite a change um, when I added them when I add them onto the wires. It actually uh, took away a lot of the uh, the glitches and things that uh, so this is uh, different sizes. A lot of these come in power supplies and things like that, um, or in older televisions, VCRs, things like that. I actually had to take apart a lot of the VCRs uh, when people are throwing them out. And they come such as something like that. They, uh, you know, they just basically, they're on the wires to absorb interference and things like that. I don't really know the exact technical information about them, but you can look them up if you like. They're called ferrites and um, they actually do help a lot. Some of the other things, just server wires, basically, which, well, they came with the APM. That's what I used. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's about all the, all the stuff that I've used.